Okay, first things first, and you need to learn how to do this as you get older. If you have not checked your email, then there is no need in doing any of this because I sent an email to all of you um, telling you what the new information was, what the plan was, and you do not want to just jump in here and think, hey, I'm going to do what I did back at school because we're not at school. I gave you a different login information. I gave you a different, um, actually, I didn't give you a different log. I just gave you a different computer um, because otherwise I would be jumping around my gradebook trying to get it. So go check your email before you go to MathXL for school, by the way. It's not just MathXL. But when you go to MathXL for school, make sure you do that because you have a different number and if you don't log into the right number then you're not going to get a grade for what you're doing so read that I sent a message to each class I gave each individual student a new number so make sure that you um, check your email because it has everything that you need uh, yesterday getting into this we started a process we'll continue to build on today the only difference between today and yesterday is negative signs so if you understood yesterday today should not be a major problem again the beauty of us being ahead which is why I gave you I think a month off was because we were ahead and I knew that with the level of work that you have been doing anyway that you could handle the stuff that we're going to be doing for the rest of the year so what we learned to do was recognize that y is what's alone that we're going to put 4x minus 7 here the difference here is that when you go to do this on your work this negative is not the same as a plus yesterday when we had a plus we could just combine like terms but here's the issue that negative and this is where you have to make your adjustment today that negative switches both of those signs so it actually ends up being 2x minus 4x plus 7 equals 11 and it will say uh, what are we substituting for what are we going to change it into it's going to say substitute using parentheses and then it's going to say rewrite without parentheses that is this step so again instead of asking me make sure you write this down because the steps I'm showing you are exactly the steps you're going to write down in order but again 2x minus this turns into this which you now do 2 minus 4 and again you have a calculator for that but 2 minus 4 if you didn't know is negative 2x plus 7 equals 11 and that's where you're going to stop so again the only difference now is that instead of being able to go straight to your combined like terms because that was a plus again a plus sign is weak uh, so it doesn't do anything but when you see a negative outside of a parentheses you have to remember to switch both signs and distribute it so same thing here y is what's there we're going to put that in this spot so we put 8x minus parentheses 4x plus 3 equals 4 that's why we have to use parentheses otherwise you forget to switch them which turns into 8x minus 4x minus 3 equals 4. Now you put your like terms together, getting 4x minus 3 equals 4, and going from there. And for those of you who are thinking ahead, yes, you will add 3 divided by 4 as we did before to finish those off. Uh, it's just that right now, because again, we're trying to learn this stuff in steps and in small chunks, this is all we're doing for right now to make sure we are being careful. C. Again, y is alone, so we are going to take this and put it in for y, and then remember it only goes in for y. So you end up with 6x minus 2 parentheses, 8x plus 4 equals 11. The difference again is that this is not a positive 2, and so when you multiply, you end up with negative 16x, and you end up with negative 8. And again, this is why if you ask me for help, uh, make sure that you um, send me your picture because again I'll notice more than anything else that this is probably where you're going to mess up that instead of putting a plus 8 you're going to put a I'm sorry minus 8 you accidentally put a plus 8 but that's a negative 2 times 4 which is 8 and speaking of sending me an email do not send it to classroom doing a comment in classroom is like leaving a message on Facebook hoping I come back and comment on it don't do that you need to email me or text me because this goes to my phone which then buzzes on my watch which tells me I have something to respond to uh, and I can do it straight from my phone this obviously goes straight to my phone and my watch I see it I respond the Google classroom comment goes to me and I see it but if I am sitting let's say watching TV and my computers upstairs 
I can't reply from there, which means I then have to get up, go all the way upstairs, read your comment, do some other stuff. Do not reply to me or do not send me anything on Google Classroom. That is your Facebook class participation thing. I don't check those things. Either send me an email or send me a text. And again, my email is rbradley, blah, blah, blah. Um, again, it's up there somewhere. If you don't know, text me. Let me know whatever it's going to be. But like I said, send me an actual email or a text, not a classroom comment that does not help you as well as you want. Plus, whenever you do that, I try to get back to you as fast as I can. But I definitely am going to take more time on a classroom comment because it just really is hard for me to get to. I don't even know how to check those things or respond to them. So anyway, once you have multiplied 6 minus 16, negative 10x minus 8 equals 11. That is your answer. And the last one before we get ready to go to our homework. This is your setup. That's what's going in for y. So we put 9x minus 5 parentheses, 3x minus 7 equals 10. Bring down your 9x minus 15x. Don't forget that's a negative times a negative, which is plus 35. And again, that's where most of your errors are going to be, but that's fine. I'm ready for that. 9 minus 15 is negative 6x plus 35 equals 10. And again, for those of you who are ready to do it, it's coming along the line. You will subtract 35. You will divide by negative 6, etc. to do that. So remember, after you do this, you are not, you're supposed to log into MathXL for school. Do not log into MathXL.com. When I'm getting these texts and emails and comments saying that they're asking for an identification code, that's because you picked the wrong uh, website. We are not doing MathXL. That is a college station, which means that even though your login information is under the company of MathXL, they do not recognize you here. They recognize you here. So make sure you do that. Also remember to check again. Check the email I sent. I sent everything you needed with the proper computer number. I reset it. Please don't just assume that you're going to use the same computer number that you did in class because you end up doing the work and getting a zero for it because I'm not going to contact you if you're not working. I know there are some students who are not working um, and I, I'm not going to look at your um, work and say, hey, uh, this student's not doing work, so I'm going to email them and hunt them down. Um, this is something, again, life in general, as I've been trying to prepare you for, this is something where you need to make the right choice. You need to be responsible, and it's not up to me to you know, force you to make good decisions. So just make your decision, check your email, make sure you know your number, and also make sure you do the proper hour because that's another thing that you need to... Um, pay attention to is that uh, for this assignment it will say 6.4 no 6.2 B and it will have an hour on it and so it will have a second hour it will have a third hour and it will have a seventh hour so there's three of them up there make sure if you're in third hour you don't do the second hour assignment or the seventh hour assignment but other than that like I said go ahead and go over to math XL get some more practice and we will move on tomorrow have a good day